Hello everyone, this is a problem from KCET 2023. Let's see about this problem. A positively charged particle of mass M is passed through a velocity selector. It moves horizontally rightward without deviation along the line y equals 2mv by qb with a speed v. The electric field is vertically downward and magnetic field is into the plane of the paper. Now the electric field is switched off at t equals 0. The angular momentum of the charged particle about the origin at t equals pi m by qb is, is our question. Okay. So dear students here to have better idea about like what things are let us visualize from our given diagram itself. They have given electric field downwards and magnetic field is into the paper and as you know that since it is initially moving without deviation along the line y equals to mv by qb so there we can think like if the charge is moving in this way so velocity vector is in this way then because of electrical force since the electric field is downwards so charge positively charged they have given suppose if this q is a charge on the particle then q times of e would be acting downwards like this okay so then we have here the magnetic field pointing into the paper so on this one we have lorentz magnetic force given by f equals q times of v cross b this is our lorentz magnetic force so we can use that here so velocity is rightwards and magnetic field is into the board by using cross product rule we know that the magnetic field force magnetic force will give us upward force which is q times of v cross b right so as we write this we can get it as q v b because the angle between velocity and magnetic field is 90 and the direction is upwards right now since these two are balancing each other so we have this particle moving with uniform velocity towards right hand side this was the initial story now at some time they are saying that electric field is switched off when electric field is switched off suddenly this qe term turns out to be zero as qe turns out to be zero then only because of lorentz magnetic force the charged particle starts moving and to analyze further let us see the situation here suppose if you consider this is the so called magnetic field which is entering into the paper then let's say at some time when we consider somewhere here as the origin to make it more general okay so the charged particle is moving at certain distance away suppose if i take at some distance some distance y is given like this here the charged particle is moving so we have here the charged particle which is moving in this way with a velocity vector showing right side and suddenly field is switched off electric field so the lorentz magnetic force will be acting in this way so that is qvb so this particular force is now will act like centripetal force and i hope you know all these ideas with respect to your moving charges and magnetism knowledge so the charged particle now experience the circular motion movement because of this lorentz magnetic force so this starts moving like this and it describes the circular motion meaning it is trying to describe the circular motion but they have said that because we don't know when exactly this is going to happen right so you can think that the magnetic field exists everywhere like this uniform suppose if we wait for sufficient time it keeps describing circular motion but they have given we should observe this motion for a time which is pi m by qb they have given here time pi m by qb so we know that for time taken for one complete revolution it is 2 pi m by qb but here they have given half of the complete time taken for revolution so basically if a particle if it is moving like this right side when electric field is switched off when electric field is switched off it is moving right side at time t equals pi m by qb it would be moving leftwards like this with same velocity because magnetic force will not do any work okay so you know it will only change the direction so it will be now moving in this way which is m times of v will be the momentum associated with the particle now so as you can observe that this is the direction of motion of this particle from here from the location where 
we are describing its origin right from there if you think of the location of the particles moment it is at a vertical distance of see from the center if you consider this as the center of the circle which is described here then this distance would be considered as the radius so with that approach we can say that the particles line of motion is at a distance of 2r plus y this is 2r plus y so the angular momentum is given by 2r plus y times of m times of v so this is what the angular momentum magnitude is direction wise like r cross p will give you direction wise it is outwards outside the board but magnitude wise if you observe it is 2r plus y times of mv so we'll check out here that 2 r by definition we know that it is mv by qb this we know and the value of y they have given here value of y in the problem they have given it is moving at a distance of 2 mv by qb so it is 2 mv by qb okay then we have mv here so we can conclude that 4 mv by qb multiplied with mv that is m squared v squared so since initially initially it is at velocity selector condition right so basically we have Q e is equal to Q V B initially. So velocity being equal to E times of B, E by B. So using this definition here, we can write the angular momentum for the given scenario as 4 times of M squared by Q B. In place of V, I'm going to write E squared by B squared. So with that, we can write 4 M squared E squared by Q B cube. Q B cube. So this is what this answer which we are expecting for this problem. Okay, now we'll check out the given options. So we have 2 m e squared by qb cube. Here it is m e squared by qb cube. So option A is wrong, option D is wrong. We can easily observe that dimensionally these two are wrong. Even by using dimensional analysis, you can even say that C is wrong. And we can think that is there is a possibility of zero. So as we know that here angular momentum is non-zero quantity so even zero is wrong so i think in this problem none of the options are matching with the related answer so i think this might deserve the grace marks or bonus so dear students this is my opinion so please post your views in the comment section thank you